I was actually recording. Oh, what a fail! <laughs> I would like to get to know if I could be the kind of girl that you could be down for. Cause when I look at you, I feel so. Hey guys, so it's the start of a new vlog. Um, I'm kind of whispering. I don't know if you can hear me. I hope that you can hear me. I am getting my tattoo done today. Um, I came to the studio today, um, and I'm so excited to share what it looks like with you guys. This is probably going to be quite short, like just the segment, but I'll capture as much as I can for you guys um, and leave all the details and things like that in the description box below. Um, yeah. Progress. I hope I'm showing this all properly. It's like awkward to show. So if you face forward, it's like on the side here. He's gonna get it on camera and improve this. Set it from the start. But the system pays off. Yeah, man. Hey everyone, it's been it's been a while. It's been like two weeks, a week, and a bit. It's been just over a week since I vlogged. I don't know, I've just been kind of like out of it. Especially today, I actually... I've been in bed basically the entire day. I am not feeling well, I feel very sick. I don't know, like after a while I started feeling like okay-ish. And when I say after a while, I mean like it's after four right now. So since this morning, like eight o'clock, I've been sick and in bed. Not COVID by the way, not COVID related at all. I just came from the shop quickly, um, I just needed to get some stuff. And I thought that I would show you guys what my tattoo looks like and also show you some of the makeup storage that I'm trying to like fix up a bit. I just want to also show you like how my tattoo has been healing and everything. Also random, this is my outfit today. <laughs> uh, my outfit for today since like a half an hour ago. This is what my tattoo looks like at the moment. Um, as you can see, it is starting to flake and scab, which is completely normal. Um, for those of you who haven't had tattoos before, this step or part of, of getting a tattoo is completely, completely normal. It is a wound at the end of the day, so this is just the healing process. I think that it is looking pretty cool. The ones at the top here are completely like fine they're not really scabbing all that much so you can see a bit of it on the forearm like if i turn it facing the front and uh, yeah i'm really i'm really happy with the way that it it came out like aj did such a great job exactly what i wanted so i want to show you these jeans that i got so these are from zara they are the mom jeans that they actually just came out with it's got like this torn lay and it's like high-waisted and I got them taken in um, because mom jeans never really fit my waist properly. It's always like an awkward gaping at the back here. So I got them taken in and I really, really like the way that they look on me. They're like super chilled but cute at the same time. So just in terms of this storage storage container, um, I need to clean these areas over here and organize this a bit better. Yeah, I need another strip over here. And the ones like this was like 39 Rand. 
So I'll just have three over there. And then this one is the one that really irritates me um, because I have a lot of these smaller palettes that is just like playing around here as you can see. And this one is fine. This one is... Um, I'm okay with this, this section. And I'm also fine with this bottom section. I have a longer one at the back here. I did show you guys this in my previous video. Um, just the one with this makeup storage container things. And nothing has really changed since then. So yeah, I'm happy with the way that this one looks. So I bought this one. Um, this one was 59 Rand. Um, and I basically just want to put more palettes in here, like midi sized ones, and just try and get this drawer a little bit more organized. So while I am here, I thought I would quickly show you guys um, some of my favorite palettes. Also, I know that I have basically like no personality right now. Please be with me. I'm basically taking everything out. I have given a lot of these palettes away, um, like other palettes, and these are the ones that I've just kept, but I will be selling these on my Yaga store soon. Just like ones that I know for a fact that I haven't used in like a while. Um, and I know that someone else would treasure them a bit more than what I am right now. So first we've got the Huda Beauty. This is the, yeah, this is the rose gold palette. My brother actually got this for me. Got the Urban Decay Born to Run palette. I remember I bought this on a whim. Genuinely love this palette. I don't think I would part with it because it is just great. Um, super pigmented, very versatile usable colors we've got the magnify spice edition from rommel london this is a great palette for someone who is on a budget but wants really good eyeshadow very pigmented um versatile colors we've got the stormy palette from kylie jenner these aren't exactly like super versatile colors but um it's still really pretty i actually filmed a video on this palette and all the footage got erased. One of my favorite palettes, this is the Kali Bible palette. And how cool is this packaging? I always enjoy Anastasia uh, Beverly Hills palettes. They always come with a brush as well. And these colors are really pretty. They're very soft, pigmented, but like soft. This is the Catrice Next Gen Nudes eyeshadow palette. I probably won't use this again because i have palettes that are very similar and i feel like i can just pass this to someone else then we've got the modern renaissance palette also a really great palette from abh as you can see i've already pan on the one over there i might sell this on my store so if you are interested in this eyeshadow palette then keep an eye out on my yaga store um, as you can see, the pan is barely... I haven't hit pan on any of this. A lot of them are actually just like lightly used. So, yeah. Then we've got this new one that I actually did a video on recently. This is the Catrice Coco Collection Eyeshadow Palette. And the colors in here are really cute. Very versatile and pretty. We've got the Birds of Paradise Palette from... Colourpop. I did a video on this during lockdown, like, like harsh lockdown. This is such a pretty palette. Look at those colours. Then we've got the Essence, the Nude Edition palette. I don't think I'm going to keep this. I wasn't like super impressed with it. This is my newest one and I... Palette. This is the Bobbi Brown Golden Slipper Eyeshadow palette. Just wow. So these are the shades. Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I posted a IGTV with this palette. Then we've got the Sir John W Beauty. This is the first one that they came out with. That's what it looks like. I've used this one a few times. Very pretty colors, super pigmented. It's really nice. And I feel like it's a very special palette as well. Because when this palette was launched, I worked with Woolworths on this. They, I actually met Sir John as well for this collaboration. So I don't think I'll ever get rid of this palette because it's such a like special 
memory. And then I've got the Tarte Tarteiste Pro palette. Massive mirror. And these are the shades. How pretty is this, this um, the actual packaging? And the last one that I want to show you guys is the Jack and Hill palette from Morphe. That's the palette. Very famous palette. A lot of people have this. So this is how I've organized it now. This is the new container that I just bought. And these are the longer kind of like rectangle shaped eyeshadow palettes that are a bit bigger. And then I put the smaller ones in this new one. And then just the ones that are a bit too big or whatever, um, I just put over here in this section. shops about about almost two hours ago yeah i had to do some work and then i had lunch and then i thought i would come on here quickly i had to go to canal walk because i wanted to get some mirrors that i saw at i think it was mimi q in canal walk yeah so i wanted to get things at mimi q it's basically like a diy project on the one and then the other one is something that i'm gonna have to use for my shoot that I'm doing like right now. Yeah, in order to do that, I have to do my hair. My hair looks like a disaster, by the way. So I have to wash my hair, set up everything. But I wanted to first show you guys the mirrors that I got. I think you're gonna like them. And I think that a lot of you are gonna be quite surprised at the price. <laughs> so the first one, and this is the one that I'm going to be using for like my actual shoot that I'm going to do now. I'll show you guys some inspo pictures on the screen right now so you can see exactly what I'm going to go for. This is the mirror. You see my foot reflection. Um, but you can see like, look at the texture. It's like this oatmeal type of vibe. And then the bottom of it is like this detail. And the second one I got is this, wow, is this beautiful pink one. This is very pretty. I don't like the color and I'm going to do something about that, but they didn't have like this oatmeal color in this pink one or in the size with all the detail and whatever. These are cheapy plasticky type mirrors. Um, price was 89 Rand each at Mini Q and they are very pretty. They've got like this, I don't know, they're giving me like Bridgerton vibes. <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to somehow spray paint this mirror gold and that is going to be a DIY type of video which I'm not going to do in this vlog but I will do it in my next vlog. But I just want to show you the detail on this mirror. So both of them are 89 Rand and they are really cheapy plastic whatever but i don't need it necessarily to like i don't know look into i guess i can look into it but it's more for the aesthetic that i want for my instagram and then i bought this gold spray paint at game when i was in canal walk this is the spectra spray uh super gold that's what it looks like. This, however, is the one that I'm going to use in the shoot, which I will show you. I'm going to get ready for that. So this is kind of going to just be like a little bit of a shoot content creation with me type of section to this vlog. Okay, so I am about to film. This is basically the setup and this is what you guys will see.
find it so funny when people are like, oh, I wish I could eat here. You could just like, you know, shower and go. And I'm like, shower and go? No, it's a lot of, it's a lot of effort to get your hair like this. <laughs> um, but anyway, I used that hydrating range from Moroccan oil that I told you guys about, I think in my previous vlog, or the vlog before that. Um, and yeah, so I used that on my hair. I have been using it on my hair for about a good couple of weeks now. If you guys want to see how I achieved these curls, this will go up on my Instagram. It's going to go up on my IGTV. So make sure that you follow me on Instagram. And yeah, so the next step now is to do my makeup. I have to do my makeup for this campaign that we're doing. So I'm just going to do very basic makeup. <gasps> I didn't even pick up a brush. Okay, so I'm not gonna do like hectic makeup. I'm just doing a very simple kind of look. Maybe like a glossy lip or something. How cute is this container? This is a new container that I got from H&M Home for my makeup brushes. It's obviously like, it's not specifically for makeup brushes, but I just got them for makeup brushes. Look at this cute detail. So I'm just keeping some of my brushes in there because the container that I have is quite full. By the way, this brush that I'm using is from Real Techniques. It's the Real Techniques 210 brush. It's called the Expert Concealer Brush. And um, I've been quite enjoying this. It's, it's new. This is the packaging. You can find it at Clicks. Um, and I've been really enjoying this for concealer. Look, it blends the concealer so nicely. I just want to tell you guys about this brow pencil that I got recently. So usually my go-to brow pencil would be the NYX micro brow pencil or the Lancome, like also basically a micro brow pencil. I can't remember the name right now. The NYX one was the one that I always used to buy, right? And NYX is no longer in South Africa. Um, so I found this one the other day from L'Oreal. This is the Skinny Definer Brow Artist prime brow tip pencil and i got the shade ebony and it's basically the same as the ultra um the nyx micro brow pencil i'll just clean them up with some concealer i also need to get my lash lift done again i haven't had lash extensions in a really long time i've just been doing like these lash lifts and I've been loving it, like loving it. I get them done probably once every two months. And she tints them and she like obviously like lifts it. And guys, it is great. I think I'm just over doing false lashes and necessarily lash extensions. I love lash extensions. But I mean just like, like applying a strip lash. So I'd like to add, I went to Clicks the other day and I got two of these micellar waters from Sorbet, like these salon skin ones. Um, they usually retail for one, one, five each. And I got them both for 98 Rand. That's really, really not a bad price. And it's cool because you can like open and close it, like by twisting the cap. All right, so this is the dress that I am going to wear. And this is the final makeup look that I did. Not too much, not too hectic. I, yeah, I'm so hot. So I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I shoot this as well. And the final product. By the way, this is a new lippy. And I got it from NYX just before they left. Um, I have other ones like this, like in this range. Um, this soft matte lip cream however the shade that i got is athens and i've never ever like used this shade before and i'm like oh it's so pretty guys look at this the color i'm so like oh. i was a little bit concerned because i thought maybe it's gonna be a little bit too like pink the bottle looks quite pink but i really really like the way that this looks okay so it looks a little bit funny i know but we are going to make some magic over here.
this is the setup and you would think that this is very easy to photograph but it's really not i've been sitting here struggling i got the shot though and this is the product that we are focusing on this is the revlon new complexion powder so i think last year sometime i did the new complexion one step and basically they came out with some new packaging and that is what this campaign is about yeah this is basically the the idea that you see here um but to photograph this was very difficult a few moments later so i'm about to make supper well i already started um but i wanted to come on here and just end this vlog thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet i'm gonna try and post more like and i'll see you guys in the next video bye